We always talk about building rapport. Building rapport, and you talk to people that have been doing this for a while, they say, oh man, I know how to build rapport. There's a difference between building rapport and establishing common ground. So when I build rapport, it's when I learn everything about you, Clint, but I can build common ground with you if I share things about me to you. This interview is brought to you by O'Neill Interactive. O'Neill Interactive designs and develops high-performance, award-winning websites for home builders all across the United States. More leads, more sales, and smart, friendly support. O'NeillInteractive.com. Keith McKinney, new home star. Yeah. Now look, man, your other video is doing great. You know that, right? Okay, man. Well, you, well it's because of you. It's because, because you me. can't not throw down great content. It oozes out of you. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, it's just great to be with you, Quint. I uh, love what you're doing. And, man, isn't this Builder Show great this year? Dude, I love the inner interactions. Yeah. we got to get David Rice on the program. Where, where is he? He's out oh, here or dude, no? He's just, he literally put him on a plane this morning. Uh, he gave a great, yeah, day. He gave any shot. Anybody from New Home Star? You want to? Yeah, Nate Hamilton. Nate. Nate Hamilton. Nate, come here. on over here. But hey, Nate, how you doing, man? Nate Quint. Hamilton. So, uh, sales professional management. What are you doing? Doing a little bit of everything. I mean, that's the, that's the nature of the beast, right? It all comes back to sales. So we're selling homes, and uh, and looking at how we can do that better, and working with partners like you guys, and you know. Tell me about, uh, I know Keith's uh, works is, has a big motivation in, in a lot of different peoples. Who have been some of the mentors in your life? And, and tell me, uh, give us, so we, this is newhomesales.com. Yeah. We have uh, uh, salespeople that are looking for good tips. Give me, give me one or two sales tips. Oh Just anything. God. Anything at all, huh? Or biggest mistakes or some of, the stuff that you, some of the stuff that you wish you knew when you first got in the business. You're, you're, uh, you know, when it comes to tips, let me, let me start with tips because I do. Um, I feel like the, the thing for me is, uh, this is easy, but remember names. Uh, this is one of the things that we hear about all the time, but honestly, we forget. Um, I feel like when it comes to making a connection with people, uh, not just the names of obviously the person you're talking to, but their kids' names, their dog's name, all that kind of stuff, uh, build the emotion and make the connection because that's what comes first. Too often we're in our own head thinking about our own processes and we forget there's a person in front of us. Um, so stay focused on the people. Um, as far as a, uh, a misstep, uh, I can tell you that uh, you know sometimes we like to justify things um, that we think we're looking at when it comes to our builder, and we forget that there are two things. There's a practical side of things, and there's a process side of things. And I think as a salesperson, sometimes we have to remember that a, uh, a process challenge is just as important as a practical challenge, and we can lose ourselves a little bit when we're dealing with our builders that way. So um, I've made that mistake one too many times, and it honestly cost us money, so I'm hoping that everybody out there uh, recognize the difference between a process and a practical challenge. In case you can't tell, he's really smart. Oh, no, 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 look, a, model, a person comes in your model home, they're not going to be like, hey, I'll be there in five minutes, so make sure you're prepared. You know, they interrupt us. It's, it's, it's a, it's a con okay, now look, one, let me give you a name tip. You know, don't you, we have to know people's names, but also don't assume that they know your name. Exactly. Because a lot of people think, like, oh, yeah, like, I, we watch all our own YouTube, but, like, I see a lot of people, Nate's is out like this, Keith's is like this, but a lot of people, I walk up yes. to them, and I'm, and I'm caught, dude, you're both... Boom, look at this. Look, Keith. Keith. Yeah, I, Keith. Hey, hey, I got, I hey. got, I got two. But dude, that, 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 that's key access. Yeah, that's sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. No, no, no. But I do, the funny <laughs> thing to this, I do got a tip for everyone. Do it. Um, we always talk about building rapport. Building rapport. And you talk to people that have been doing this for a while. They say, oh, man, I know how to build rapport. There's a difference between building rapport and establishing common ground. Yeah. So when I build rapport, it's when I learn everything about you, Clint. And Quint, you share everything there is to, that I need to know for my discovery for me to sell you a house. But I can build common ground with you if I share things about me to you. 
And when I share things about me to you, I'm establishing common ground with you. So common ground's different than rapport. Than rapport, and because common ground allows me to set up relationship with you. Because okay. now it's a two-way street. Right. Rapport just means that you trust me enough to tell me about you. But when I have common ground, it's going both ways. And so now we move from rapport to relationship. And that's when we have great salespeople doing great things. Can I go back to your point? You said, um, and I, I know you were, were yep. okay, but you, you got, you have um, a process and then a, a, a practical application. And then what's the, de give me an example of each of those. So for instance, a lot of times we'll have a conversation where a uh, buyer will say something like, I really want to, you know, uh, change this doorway. And on the one hand, changing a doorway, of course, when you're building a house, you can do that. That's, that's, a, that's not a practical challenge unless there's a support structure or something like that. It's a process challenge that people don't understand that like in order for us to go back and change all of that, it requires us, you know, everything follows in a line. Like we use the train analogy a lot. Where that's that's what I use. Right, exactly. So I mean, it's one of those things where a process challenge is one that if you can explain the business a little better, understand that for a builder to totally redo their whole business model and allow for that subtle change, which practically is not a challenge, a person could build that easily, um, but process-wise, is a big challenge. That changes a, a customer's perspective on what you're trying to ask them to do. You help them understand, look, this is a business model thing as much as it is a practical thing. Can I, can I make, just add something to that? And I think well, humility is really important because don't think that like everything you do is original because I thought like, oh, I created this train thing and then here this dude, yeah, hey, got, you're bro. taking my train thing. Uh, hey, you, you probably, I probably heard it from you. No, no, you didn't. You, you <laughs> did it. What I'm trying to say is that like seeds grow everywhere, right? Just because you have a dandelion in your yard doesn't mean like, hey, I have a, that's my dandelion. Like, so, um, hey man, you're, Keith, any last shout outs, uh, anything you want to, and, and for you as well. Man, just shout out to all the new home salespeople out there. Listen, our market, it, we're going into this season right now where the true sales professionals are going to shine. So right now, sharpen the blade. Now's the time to sharpen your skills. Now's the time for great. No, no, no. I'm going to call you guys out. I'm going to call you out okay. on something. Can I do that? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. The Nationals, we were there last night. Right. You have some top dogs in New Home Star. We got to get those guys nominated. Sales Rookie of the Year, Sales Professional, Sales Manager of the Year. We want to see. So you're going to get some people in this year. Quint, I'm going on record. We will change that next year. Next, I want to see, because I did, we did 38 interviews at the Nationals yeah. last night, and we want to get, I'm, next year, new home start, I want to see you guys we're, up there. We're going to change it next year. All right, hey, NHP, you heard it on record from the big dog. Hey, listen, listen, and let, hey, listen, love you guys, be, be good. Nate, dude, now's the time for greatness, man. Take care.